To maintain the glass optical window, inspect the optical window surface for dust, oil, or contamination using a flashlight, LED, or cell phone light. If dust, oil, or contamination is noted, clean the glass surface following Formlab's instructions. As with most optical surfaces, minimal cleaning is best cleaning. Use this guide to clean the optical window on a Form 3. If this video helps you solve your printer's issue, please like the video and thanks for watching. Remove the build platform first to avoid dripping resin into the printer cavity. Remove the resin cartridge and close the vent cap to prevent resin from dripping off the bite valve and into the printer. Remove the resin tank, place it in its case, cover it, and set it to the side. Clear a workspace around your printer. Ensure that the workspace is well ventilated and free of dust. With the printer plugged in and powered on, tap the wrench icon to access the settings screen, then tap maintenance, motor moves. The motor moves screen appears. Tap and hold left to move the LPU housing to the middle of the printer cavity. Disconnect the power cable before continuing with maintenance. Do not perform maintenance on the printer while it is connected to power. Shine a secondary light source, for example a flashlight, LED, or cell phone light, onto the optical window to reveal any hidden contamination on the glass surface. Hold the light source at the shallowest angle possible. From the edges of all three accessible sides, that is left, front, and right, scan the light back and forth across the optical window. If there is any contamination on the underside of the optical window, check out our video for cleaning the Form 3 roller holder. Use a rubber bulb air blower to gently remove any visible dust from the optical window. Make sure to remove any large particles that may scratch the glass surface. If a rubber bulb air blower is not available, compressed air may be used. Use a new, non-abrasive wipe to remove any remaining dust from the optical window with a dry wipe. Wipe slowly, pulling the non-abrasive wipe towards you, repeating until you have cleaned the entire glass surface. Proceed with a wet wipe only if the dry wipe does not clean the glass completely. If resin has dripped onto the window, use a small amount of IPA with a clean microfiber cloth first. Move the cloth slowly to allow the IPA to dissolve the resin. Wet wipe the optical window only if oils, smudges, fingerprints, or resin contamination is visible. Use only IPA to clean the glass surface, as any other cleaning solution may degrade the anti-reflective coating. Allow the surface to dry before using additional non-abrasive wipes with IPA to wipe the glass surface. Apply a small amount of IPA to a new non-abrasive wipe. Wipe the optical window slowly with the non-abrasive wipe, pulling it towards you. Repeat this step until you have cleaned the entire glass surface. Use your secondary light source to inspect the optical window. Repeat the wet wipe if any streaks are visible. Multiple passes may be necessary to achieve a streak-free surface. Each non-abrasive wipe can be used multiple times by refolding the material to expose a fresh surface for each pass on the glass panel. Dry wipe the glass again with a new non-abrasive wipe to remove any remaining streaks. If any streaks remain, remove the roller holder to access both sides of the glass optical window. Follow all of the steps in our video for cleaning the Form 3 roller holder. If streaks are difficult to remove, contact Formlab support or your authorized reseller. When requesting help, please provide photos of the optical window illuminated by a secondary light source and a list of attempted cleaning steps. Close the printer cover and connect the power cable to the printer and the power supply. The printer will initialize and the LPU will move back to its home position to perform a calibration. Insert any missing consumables and upload and start a print. Check that the print starts normally and that the parts print successfully. Contact Formlab support or your authorized reseller to share the results of the procedure. Did this video help you get printing again? If so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Also leave a comment telling us what videos you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.